Welcome back to the Venom Workshop. So today what I'm gonna show you how to do is we are gonna take the nibby carb out of this and we're going, I'm gonna show you how to adjust it. So <clears throat> some people have, I guess, seem to have a hard time with the nibby carbs, adjusting them. Uh, a lot of people, it spooks them um, and they don't wanna to touch any adjustments. So this, this video should help. It'll help you tune your bike to where it should run perfectly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to grab, uh, pull the carb out of this and it doesn't matter, um, what bike or I'm sorry, what bike you're pulling your nibby off. I'm going to explain the whole nibby carb and how it operates and why it works the way it does. And then we're going to um, adjust it. I'm going to show you how to adjust everything in it. Uh, and you can choose different jets in it if you want. It's up to you. Um, there's different combinations of jets that work really nice together. It just all depends. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out and uh, I'll meet you over at the bench. Okay, so we have our nibby carb here. <clears throat> this one's the N26, but it doesn't really make a difference. What I'm gonna show you is gonna, um, it's gonna help no matter what. It doesn't matter which carb it is. Um, I'm gonna kind of explain everything to you to show you how the carb works. Um, and how the fuel gets everywhere and why it does. And let's, let's just get started on that. Okay, so we're gonna remove the top of the carb first. There we go, spring out. We'll reach inside for the needle valve. Now, people don't realize this, but this needle valve is kind of a jet too um, because of the way it, it operates here. Now there is a way to set this jet and change it too, but I don't want you guys to actually touch that. It's already in there. There's a clip on it. Um, I would never adjust this. Just maybe I would later in life, but right now the way the, the bike is set up, it doesn't need anybody to play with it. It's already set fine for what we're doing. So I'm gonna go ahead and just set that out of the way. Now on the nibby carbs, you're gonna need an Allen key. This one's a number three. And we're gonna take the bowl off. And I'll explain the jets inside. There we go. So that's the bowl. Uh, it, it is wet because it did have some gas in it. But let's go take a look at the carb itself. Okay, so on all these carbs, doesn't matter if it's a nibby or whatever carb it is, there's going to be two jets on the bottom here. I'm just going to remove that. So. <clears throat> You have, um, we're gonna go here first. So this is your fuel screw or your idle screw. And this right here is the air screw. And I'll show you how to set them after, but I'm just gonna explain the jets first. But this uh, right here lets the air in, this lets the fuel in. So if we go to the bottom of the carb now, and we look at our float, it's sitting perfectly. We don't have to worry about that. You don't want it to be sitting like that. Um, <clears throat> so what happens is, is when this is upside down and the fuel fills up the carb, it stops it right here, which pushes the pin in here and shuts off the fuel coming into the carb. Um, and that's what would do that. Now, inside here, we have two jets. There's a jet here. This is your pilot jet. And then you have your uh, main jet right here. So your pilot jet basically takes care of your idle to quarter throttle. And then this goes, this jet here is for the high end. So <clears throat> you can mess with these jets if you want. Most times when we have them sent out, we already have it sent out with the jet uh, combination that is actually perfect for the bike. So you don't have anything to worry about there. 
but I can help you set up the air. Sometimes it can it can get a little off or when they set it at the factory, it was a little bit off. So uh, I'm gonna show you how to set this screw right here. <clears throat> and that's the major one. So now that we know how everything works, so what happens is <clears throat> when your carb is sitting like this, this, like I said, is up and you give it fuel, what you're doing is when you're pulling the throttle, you're lifting this slide up and this pin right here connects to this main jet down here. So when you raise that up, it lifts up that pin and gas flows up into the carb and into the engine. And that's how that works. <clears throat> so now we can go ahead, we can put the bottom back on and we're gonna set the air screw. And then I'm gonna put this back in and then I'm gonna start it. And then we'll tune it while it's running. There we go. So we got the bottom back on. Now, this right here, right there, is our air screw. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna turn that all the way in. Now, when I like to, to start with these carbs, um, I went in there probably two turns. And so I think that was way too much. So I'm gonna turn it out one complete turn like that, just like that. And I only went one complete turn. So after I've done that one complete turn, I can adjust it after that's where I want to start and I'm going to turn this all the way in and I want to come out two turns completely on that so I'm going to pick my hole right there I'm going to follow with my eyes until I got one complete turn and then I'm going to go two and that's two right there then I'm going to start the bike and I can adjust then up or down from there. It's gonna probably be idling a little high right now. That's okay. But uh, we're gonna go from there and we're gonna set it from there. So now I just have to put it back on the bike and then uh, we can adjust. Once it's running and the bike's running smooth, um, I can adjust my air screw a bit uh, till it, you, you'll hear it. You'll hear the motor kind of hum out. Uh, and when it's running just perfectly, then I, I know it's set fine. So I'm just gonna listen to the engine run smooth and then I'm gonna try the throttle a few times, hitting the gas, see if I have to adjust it anymore, but <clears throat> that should be enough right there. So I'm gonna get the car back on and I'll be right back. Okay, <clears throat> so I got the car back in and I come down. You can see my air screw. I haven't touched it. I left it exactly the way I had it. <clears throat> and I haven't touched my idle screw either, um, but I did let the bike warm up. So I wanna show you something now. So it came on right away. Finally, a little low. So I can turn up my idle a tiny bit. I usually like it right about there, about 1500. But now I have no bog at my throttle. There's no burr before it starts. That air screw. You have to have the right more air to fuel mixture coming into your car, uh, or it's just 
one's not going to run right now. This one is running perfectly. But if it wasn't, and you found it was a little choppy, or when you tried to give it throttle, it gave you that ball, and you're going to want to go in with this screw a little bit. So maybe a quarter of a turn or an eighth of a turn in, and that's all it'll take. But this bike right now is running 